Hello one and all and welcome back to another episode of this Black 2 Nuzlocke and in today's episode we're going to be doing as much of Victory Road we can do in 15 to 18 minutes really all. Oh, so first of all we've got N just down there. N you came. The Pokemon League is just past Victory Road. Pokemon battles do nothing more than hurt Pokemon. That's how I understood it and that's why I hated battles but it's not that simple. No, no, he's shaking his head. Pokemon battles decide winners and losers, it's true. You do so much more. Your Pokemon and uh, you, your opponents, and their Pokemon. Everyone can see what wonderful things that others have to con contribute. That's right, accepting different ideas, but if, uh, there, there, there. different beings changes the world. Like a chemical reaction. Pokemon battles are like a catalyst, a small component that leads to big changes. My friend Zekron taught me that, and it's a formula I've derived from travelling the world. I want you to think for yourself what it means. Here, take this with you. The new Victory Road is accessed with, uh, with areas that are only accessible by Waterfall. So we've got Waterfall. Finally, after me saying in the last episode, I'm not sure when I'm going to get that. Now, for now, what I've actually done is I have... Uh, 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 what am I doing? Here we go. I have taught... Oh, no, not taught, sorry. I have brought uh, Kofagrigus along with me. Hopefully someone who isn't Yvonne can learn Waterfall. Um, no, nope, only Yvonne. Great. So now I've got to replace a move with Waterfall. So Yvonne's going to have two moves which are water type. Um, I did also get rid of Thumajigi, uh, Ice Beam. I suppose once I get up there I can replace Ice Beam again. So I'm going to give, I'm going to replace uh, Ice Beam with Waterfall. For now, for now that should be alright. And if you can see the top of my hair then you will also know that I'm not really up. So it's scanning to check if we've got the badges. I don't think, can you even get round here without all the badges? Uh, no, we don't need to use another one right at this very moment. I don't think you can get back... No, because you've got to do all the story events, haven't you? And you can't progress on the route without um, without defeating Team Plasma. So, I guess you, there's no point in this, really. Unlike, say, in the Kanto games, where the uh, Elite Four and Victory Row were kind of very early on. So they were situated very early on in the game. So you could get through as many as you wanted, but you needed all eight one after the other. Anyway, so... Ooh, this looks... Scary. Victory Road, here we go. Ooh, wow, that, that's actually pretty funky. I quite like that. It's black and white, as the uh, as the game would suggest. So does it do that for every single trainer? That seems a lot of effort for every single trainer. Let's have a sip of tea. There we go. Have a little run around. Um, Going to use my Dowser machine. Apparently there is something down here. I thought there might be. Uh, and there's something over there as well. It's in that rock, isn't it? Yup. Got a dusk stone. Okay. That's not not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Uh, and then there's something else over here, apparently, I believe. I think it's just like a... Is it a maze? What is it? Uh, so, oh, you need to get in there. Oh. Okay. What is down here? Is it just... It's just loads of random gated bits. Um, what's up here? Anything interesting? No? Apparently, just a Pokeball. <laughs> Got another star piece. Another one. How many of those do I have now? Quite a lot, I would guess. Uh, that is there. Got an iron. So the plan is, is for me to do as much of... Uh, is that a hidden hollow? That's not a hidden hollow. Let's do... What's down here? What is down here? A Pokeball. Cool. I got TM01 Hone Claws. That's pretty, pretty nifty. Um, yeah, so the plan is for me to do as much of Victory Road as I can this episode. Then I'll finish it. I'll finish it up off screen, and then uh, what is in here? Is this is this like a prehistoric Pokemon? Oh, that's pretty cool. So to do as much as I possibly can, and then. Next episode, what I'll end up doing is uh, I'll be challenging the Elite Four. So I'll be training up off screen and doing the rest of Victory Road off screen. So if you were hoping for a complete run through, I'm sorry. I've never said I was going to do that. First of all, go through this long, difficult Victory Road, then defeat everyone in the Elite Four. Increase what you can do little by little and get close to the champion. Okay, and he's collected all gym badges, but he's afraid to go any further. What do you sell? Not mail, please. Not mail. Oh, balls. Um. I'll grab a couple of dust balls because it's now a cave and so 
You want to have a couple of dust balls under your belt. I've got lots of ultra balls though, so I don't really need any of those. And again, my hair is just slightly in shot. I'm not up yet. I'm still in my pyjamas. I apologise, but who cares. Right, so here we go into Victory Road. The first Pokemon I can catch on this route. Um, why does it not say Victory Road? Did it say Victory Road when I... Did it say Victory Road when I... I hope it's claimed it's a new road. Yeah, it is Victory Road. Okay. So let us go. So this is the first Pokemon I can catch. Hopefully it's something good and high leveled. It's a Banette. Uh, it's level 48. Do I want a Banette? No, I'm fine with... No, I've got a level 53 Cofagrigus. That's higher. I don't, I don't need a Banette. Okay, well that was a bit of a disappointment. Oh, okay. Anyway, so in the last episode as well, uh, it kind of cut off. I edited it this morning. It cut off a little bit early, and that was not completely my fault. Well, it was completely... Well, I don't know what, how to describe it, because the camera kind of mucked up. There was about another minute worth of footage of me just kind of running around and pushing all the rocks in, but it got cut out. I'm not sure why. So I decided to cut it after what, uh, rather than have, like, mid-sentence. And So that's why there was no outro in the last episode either. God, this thing is strong. Um, so it's ghost and ground type, so I'm going to switch in Yvonne. Oh, that might not be the best idea, actually, thinking about it. Oh. More tea. Sorry about that. Again, I I'm really sorry as well if my voice sounds... Oh, dear. No, don't kill. Oh, my God. 4 HP. We keep surviving by, like, a tiny amount each time. Um, that should kill it. It did kill it. Good. Um, yeah. And who else? Sigalith. Who should I send in against the Sigalith? Something with a rock type move. So, boom, I'm sending in. Oh. I don't feel 100%, actually. I've got to go to university tomorrow, first day. And, uh, well, I'm not feeling the best I've ever felt in the world. Let's put it that way. I've, I've got a sore throat, which means I can't talk very well. I've got a slightly runny nose, which is not good. I don't want to be ill on my first week of uni. You know, that's... It's not on. It's really not, and I hope I haven't got flu or something similar. Uh, that didn't kill it. Why did that not kill it? That's really annoying. Heal up again. Not heal up, sorry. Fight again. And there we go. And that is now dead. Dead, 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 dead. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Uh, anyway. So, I'm completely far removed or something or the other. And, uh... I need to heal up Yvonne of the Yukon. I really wanted to catch another Pokemon this route, and I'm not sure if there are any other routes I haven't caught Pokemon on so far. Um, I think I've been everywhere in the game that's possible to go to at this point. Uh, what am I even looking for? So from the looks of things, this is going to be my ideal team. Hopefully nobody dies, that's, the, that's a big thing. So Yvonne's back up to 60. I don't know how high the level... Of Pokemon are going to be in this game in terms of uh, in the Elite Four because in the last game the people on Victory Road were kind of late 30s which meant that you were a bit OP by that point whereas now well you saw that that was a level 55 um, oh so I need strength I do have somebody with strength with me which is good right so now I need to make sure I can get that in so I'm going to push that like that and then we're going to push it like that and like that there we go, that is in. What's over here? Nothing. What's up here? Nothing. Can't walk over there. And we got a woman, a psychic, from the looks of things. I'll use my psychic powers to release my Pokemon from its Pokeball. Okay, just Pokemon, right, she said from its. So I'm guessing she's only got one. She's got two. Unless my grammar skills are very poor, I think her grammar skills are very poor. Hmm. So she's starting off with a ghost and um, fire type, and I have just a fire type. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a faint attack, and hopefully that'll do a lot. I'll do a fair amount. Hey, killed it. Well done. Well done. Faint attack seems to be a good move for me to have kept on Quentin for now. And she's also got the Mishana, so I'll keep him with Quentin. Quentin's got the lucky egg on, by the way, if you hadn't noticed, if you hadn't guessed. So 
Yeah. Is Victory Road now the remain the remnants of Ends Castle? Because Ends Castle we destroyed at the end of black. And white, I'm guessing. White as well. And so if this is all kind of castly and, you know, derelict and bits and bobs like that, does that mean it's the remains of Ends Castle? I'm pretty sure it probably does. Uh that's gonna do a fair chunk. No, no. Oh my god, well, at least I'm faster than it. I'll hit it no matter what. You know what, Quentin is probably the luckiest Pokemon I have. It keeps surviving by just tiny amounts. Little, little, little things. There we go. This game is very hard. I'm so glad with myself that I managed to get this far through. Um, with with probably a core team of... I, I should have a look at them, actually. Um, let me just hide the potion up very quickly. I did buy loads of full restores, by the way, which is good. So, if I just look at my Pokemon... Um, quickly, who's been with me a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Quentin's been with me a hell of a lot. No shrimps has. Um, Hubert's been with me a lot, and Shy Guy, I guess, and that's kind of from the Desert Resort Route Four sort of area. So Boone and Nirvana, the newest members, and they're kind of up there a little bit more. Uh, what is down here? Anything interesting? Boo, 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 boo. Well, apparently I can't get down there anyway. Unless I like... How do you get over there? That is a really good point, actually. I don't feel there's a way to get over there. Okay. Despite there being like a jumpy thing. Alright. Uh, let's keep going. That can't be... Oh! Is this still Victory Road? Uh, I think this is still Victory Road, but I'm really not sure. I'm guessing it is. Yes, it is. It's Victory Road still. It's just a bit weirder. So, our Unity can't, won't be bested by anyone. So, we've got our Ace Trainer here. She's called Ace Trainer Shelley. Shelley, Shelley, Shelley. Right there. Ah, I'm a bit tired. She's got a Swoo Bat. And we're going to take down that Swoo Bat with Quentin. My aim is to have everybody up to about level 64, 65-ish by the time we get to Elite Four properly. Because... Again, I'm not sure how strong her Pokemon are going to be. Oh, I forgot to mention, while I was... I did a little tiny bit of training off-screen between these two episodes. Not a lot, though. Not huge amounts. And uh, Hubert learned Outrage, which is fantastic. So Hubert can now use a Dragon-type move. And providing I give it a, 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 a Lumberry, I think it is, it won't get confused. So I can use Outrage when I need to. Which is good. And Quentin wants to learn Hyper Beam. Um, do I want it to learn Hyper Beam? 150 and 90. Ooh. Um, you know what? I'm going to say no for now. I guess I can always... I'll give up on Hyper Beam for now. I don't think it needs it at this very moment. Lilligant, let's stay in with Quentin. We'll just use a, like a... I guess a fire... a flamethrower. No, I'd use the wrong move. Whoops. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Quiver Dance. Great. How can this have Quiver Dance? Quiver Dance is, um... Thing with Jiggy's move. And now it's using Petal Dance. Don't kill Quentin. Okay, it didn't kill me, but it did more than I thought it was going to do. Good. Good? It's not good that it did more than I thought it was going to do, but it's good that it didn't kill me. Good. Right, now that I made that clear. Right, there we go. Quentin's going to need more healing. But I'm going to switch them out now first. Anyway. So, Pokemon. Pokemon. Let's heal Quentin up. Let us now take his item. Item. Move. And we'll give it to... Um, we'll give it to Yvonne for a little bit. Switch her into first. So, I'm not sure what to do with my Cofagrigus. I'll probably train it up a little bit, but not as much as the others, just so you know. Uh, yes, I will use another. That's a fungus. That's not a fungus. I want to battle that... Him. I want to battle him. I want to battle the Doctor, not you. It's not enough for me to be just together with Pokemon. I want to win. Okay, you want to win. I get it. I get it, mate. I get it. Very cool, very modern. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
has got a winter coat. Ah. Oh. So, how are we going to defeat this Wim's cot? Usually I would defeat it with a ice beam, which would be four times effective. But no, I've replaced it with waterfall. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that so early on. Um, let's switch in no shrimps, because no shrimps has ice punch, which will be just as effective as an ice beam. Or it should be. Which is good. Ah! I'm quite tired as well. It's fairly early. I went to bed quite late last night, just because. Anyway, so let us punch this Wimscott in the face. Bam! And uh, Wimscott has almost died. Great, but not quite. Great, great, great. So now we're going to use another one. It's just going to keep you turn. No shrimps is turning out to be like a really good beast of a Pokemon. Um, he switched out to an pheasant, but I still use Ice Punch, so that's not going to make that much of a difference. Boo, 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 boo. And a pheasant kind of went all the way down, apart from a little bit. Let's use another one, because whatever he does, Ice Punch will do good. What did Feather Dance do? Drop my attack. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, oh well. Done. Done, 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 done. No Shrimps got that amount of points, and I'll keep battling with No Shrimps, despite him not having the Lucky Egg on. I probably should put the Lucky Egg on him, but who cares? Anyway, guys. Boop, 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 boop. About another two minutes of this episode left, I think. We're not going to get anywhere near the whole of Victory Road done. Um, I'll do the rest off screen, as I said, and then we'll start the Elite Four next episode. Um, it's just much quicker when I do stuff off screen because I don't have to read everything out and take everything a bit slower and whatever and you can see my hair again. And So we'll face the doctor. The good doctor! We'll heal up. We'll have a look what's down the bottom there. And then, uh, and then we'll move on. And then I will move on. Clefable. There's a Clefable and I have a Navon to go against this Clefable. I think I should be fine. I'll use a Surf. boop, 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 and Clefable kind of, that did about half, maybe a little bit less. It's got Minimize. Minimize is such an annoying move. Anything which raises evasiveness or like minimizes accuracy is just, oh, so annoying. So very annoying. <sighs> right. Well, now it's so me to sleep. And I'm about to fall asleep as well. Huh. Let me switch in, um, Quentin, because Quentin has faint attack, and that will be able to hit no matter what. <laughs> Got metronome, and it, yeah, something. What? Well, I didn't get that. Okay, and we're going to use faint attack, and hopefully that will kill it. Probably won't. Didn't kill it. Double snap. Use another faint attack, and my body. My flame body. Why did that not burn it? He used a full heal. Oh my god. Oh, so he's got plus four evasiveness. Oh, I thought he used a full restore. Sorry, my brain didn't quite process that properly. Hey! He didn't heal up completely. Good. Right, so let's heal them up. And then let us quickly go down here. What is down here? Some more trainers. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, and I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Um, it's me, Mario, here, signing off, saying in the next episode we will be battling the Elite Four. Goodbye. Right, guys, I know I said I just ended the episode, but I thought I might as well get this in here while I'm here as well. I've finished Richie Road, and I've just been called Wait Up. Um, obviously, when you get called, it's a key event, so I just wanted to see what it was. Oh, it's Glenn. Hello, Glenn. How are you? Uh, I'll battle you with, with you before you take all the Pokemon League. The more Pokemon battles you have, the stronger you get, right? Ah, uh, so I did a bit of training as well. I did quite a lot of grinding, and uh, now all my Pokemon are level 65, including Shy Guy, which is very weird. I know I said that I wasn't going to train him, but I, I changed my mind. Um, but I did have to teach some of them some moves, which I'm going to have to go and get the move deleted to move delete, if that makes sense. Um, so hopefully that isn't too bad. Uh, so he's leading out with an unpheasant. I'm going to use a flamethrower on this unpheasant. Uh, currently I have Quentin in first just because. Uh, and everybody's also got full health because I healed up with the doctor. 
just before I came through here because I thought that there might be some sort of key event and it turned out there was which is very good going so he's now got a Bufalon who should I switch in against Bufalon um, probably oh uh, let's pop in there's probably no shrimps because the likeness of him having a ground type move is really quite low or a psychic type move I don't think he'll have either of those so I was thinking about no shrimps what I should do with his move set I might replace strength with toxic and then gunk shot despite being strong it's uh, not the, the most accurate of moves so I might replace gunk shot with vino shock and then I can poison and use vino shock and that will do huge damage huge damage um, and even without that will still be quite a lot of stuff that was a hell of a lot of damage that that bouffalant just did there quite a lot indeed if my room seems a bit echoey by the way it is because I uh, I've done some cleaning up today and so my room is a lot emptier than it was earlier now am I faster I am faster but I don't want to risk it so I'm gonna I'm gonna heal up um, you know this is the first time a hyper potion hasn't been appropriate a full restore is much better now because hyper potions aren't gonna heal up 200 and 12 211 something like that so he's probably going to use uh, wild, oh wild charge there we go that's why I wasn't going to switch in Yvonne because I thought it might have wild charge um, if I had a Buffalon that is I'd put wild charge on it so you know that's why I decided not to Glenn used the max potion great so now it's almost like we've started the battle again let's see we'll use a nice punch and see how much that does uh, I did a fair amount uh, you know what I'm going to take a risk I'm going to go for a gunk shock shot see if gunk shot hits uh, and did it hit? Yeah, it did hit. Cool. And it's going down, going down. There we go. He's dead. Cool. Who is next? Uh, he's got a Simicir next. So now I'm going to send in a bomb. You know, it's weird how rock and ground are strong against fire as well. But your natural response is to go straight for the water type Pokemon just because. Anywho, so he's probably got an electric type move of some kind which will do me in knowing him. He's got Crunch. Okay, that's not brilliant. That's not brilliant at all. No, that did a lot of damage. A lot of damage indeed. Oh dear. That was not brilliant. Okay, so Simiseer is now dead. Cool. And uh, we're now going to move on to Superior, who I'm going to kill with Quentin. So, here we go. Final battle. I think this will probably be the final battle with Glenn throughout the main part of the game. Which is very... It's sad, it's the end of an era in some ways. Um, yeah. So, flamethrower. We're going to flamethrower his head off. And that's going to go all the way down like that. There we go. And he, Superior is dead. Wicked. Do your do your. He only had four Pokemon. I think he should have had five or six, probably. They would have been better. Anyway, so Glenn, Joe, thanks to you, I accomplished what I set out to do. I wish I could have shown you my little sister's huge smile. This is my thanks. He gave me Thunderbolt. Okay, so he gave me Thunderbolt. That's good. I think you're really amazing, so become champion. Get the proof of your trainer. Your Pokemon can be proud of. See you soon. Cool. Do your do your like it. Is there an item in here anywhere? No, there's no hidden item. So, guys, we are at the, uh, we're at the Pokemon League now. Let me just... So it's all kind of cut off there. There's no way of going down. Victory Road is long, by the way. Really, really long. So look at that. Look at the Pokemon League. Wow. It looks mind-boggling. So what I'm... Has this always been here? All this stuff? All this space? Uh, uh, no, I don't need to use another one because I'm about to finish the game. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to quit now and I'm going to go and change my move sets on Pokemon and get them all ready for uh, for the final battle. And then we're going to start the Elite Four in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. Um, uh, it's me Mario here, Joe, signing off, saying, well done, Joe. <laughs>